Hey everyone, it's Elliot from Sphere Drones here. I've got the fresh off the press Matrice 400 here to unbox with you today. First impressions for me, uh, build quality feels really good. Um, all of the fixtures, the, you know, the arm and leg mounting uh, brackets, they feel really sturdy and well built. You know, having obviously this beautiful LiDAR on top, that's going to be really handy for a lot of that pr close proximity work. Uh, you'll notice there's quite a big um, tilt rearwards um, pitch on the aircraft, so it's got quite a, um, a, a low tail and a higher nose. Uh, I expect that that's going to mean that when the drone's in flight, uh, the base of the, uh, the airframe here is going to be more parallel with the ground, which can be advantageous for those non-gimbalized payloads. Uh, big propellers, of course, here. Um, you can see they're quite long. I haven't measured them yet, but um, they've also got uh, that, that downwards facing wing tip as well. So hopefully that'll be uh, a bit of noise reduction there. Under the front here, we've got four separate payload bays. Uh, so E1, E2, E3, and E4. Uh, we still have this same uh, Skyport mounting bracket there. Um, and of course, um, underneath there's also um, a few mounting holes underneath. Uh, for those uh, other third-party payloads. We've moved the strobes to the side of the aircraft this time, so you can see that they're on the side of the aircraft rather than on the top and the bottom. And you can see there's also lots of uh, visions, vision sensors around the aircraft as well. We've seen some new changes with the uh, Matrice 4D, etc., uh, where you have that ability to tap into the, the video feed on your remote controller of these cameras, so that's going to be pretty exciting from a situational awareness perspective. Um, back to the motors, uh, the motors do seem a little bit larger than the Matrice 300 motors. Um, I expect that'll mean that they spin a little bit slower or they might just be rotating at the same speed but generating more lift, so excited to see how that pans out. We've got lots of ventilation holes all around the unit as well, um, so hopefully that'll help it with um, those warmer environments. Um, big heat sink on the back of the battery here. Um, the battery, of course, haven't really addressed that yet, but it's a, it's a bit of a monster. Uh, I think from memory it's around a thousand watt hours, so it's uh, you know nearly three and a half, um, over three and a half of the um, the previous generation of batteries. Um, the mechanism here is quite nice. So you lift the handle, and it's a bit stiff to get it out. You do have to hold the aircraft still. But you can see there, that's the battery there, and it's holding its own weight nicely under that sturdy handle. The new controller is really nice. Um, we of course have this new antenna module here, which I believe is a sub 2G um, antenna set. So I think that that'll help. Um, nice and bright screen. Looks like they've moved some of the outputs here. So the USB-A and HDMI on the top here. And then on the bottom here, we've also got an expansion bay for USB-C and a micro SD. But otherwise, exactly what you'd expect from DJI. A nice, solid controller that does feel lighter. One thing we haven't really spoken about is these new brackets that hold the propellers and motors in place. Uh, they're really nicely made. I think they're a lot more reliable than the foam ones we used previously. Uh, it really does allow you to bring the drone out of the case and with confidence knowing you're not going to you know, flip a propeller out and break it. Um, so that's really nice to see. Well done, DJI. So overall, Matrice 400, uh, really nice build quality. Everything out of the box is really impressive so far. Uh, lots of nice little creature, creature comforts that I think are, uh, are going to really bolster um, the, the confidence and um, operational capability of this unit. To me, the, the Matrice 400 is that perfect blend of a Matrice 350 and a Matrice 600 when it comes to the capabilities and all of the features that you want to see in a, a really uh, high quality, capable industrial platform. So really excited to put this one through its paces.